called me the Spirit Kudash, me and Holy. Okay? And of course, Shanyi uh, Kabaga, well of a cause, acquainted now by I. Uh, that means double honor to the elders and apostles of GMS in these times, okay? The men that to, uh, the men that the Heavenly Father has put the Spirit on in order for us to, to receive the 100% truth. And Shalom, Amma, Barak, and Lava, Karim, Shayasha, Allah. Peace and blessings be upon the elect of the nation of Israel, the men that are risking their lives to push the 100% truth and uh, doing it in all sincerity, okay? Now, before me, of course, you uh, you see, well, uh, you know, a couple of, these are actually three separate prayers, Um you know, very, very quick. Uh, actually, I was inspired to do this. This is a, I'm remaking a video that there's a coin of uh, my camp made, uh, Monagon, which are these are, you know, very, very quick prayers that uh, that he made, you know, in order to rebuke Satan, you know. So uh, without further ado, you know, um, and, and these are, you know, they, these are kind of uh, freestyle, which you would say it's not very, uh, it's not a, a set scripture that says, you know, these exact words, but in a roundabout way, it, it, it does say it, okay? So, and, and like I said, these are very, very simple and very quick. So, you know, the, it, you should you should uh, try to commit it to memory, uh, Lord's will, you know? But the first one is, uh, ah ga ir ka shatun, okay? Ah, A-H, ga ir means rebuke, okay? Ah meaning I, ga ir, or, uh, yeah, ga'ir, meaning rebuke. Ka is the. Whenever you see ka at the end of a, uh, a word or, um, or the end of a, more so I say a word or a sentence, because sometimes you have compound words. Like, this is somewhat of a compound word, because together it means, uh, it's, together it means, uh, salaki, I, I keep this one. Together it means I rebuke thee, okay? So it's somewhat of a compound word. Like the word, the, the way you would say I in, uh, in the Ibarya is Anya. And this is like an abbreviation of Anya, you know? So, ah, uh, because it's uh, A-H-Y, no, A-H, A-H-N-Y-A, Anya, to say I. Or, you know, I write it right here. This is how you say I in the Ibarya. Oh, shit. Give me one second. This marker is a little bit janked up. I use this one so you can see it more, too. A. And there's a connector right here. See? See, like, and that's why I said this is a compound word. So it's an abbreviation. It's just like taking the A and putting it right here. Just like the word, uh, I, you know, I'll get into it soon, but uh, just like the word mayun, if you were to put uh, ma, or if, like, uh, if you were to put ma in the front of a word, it would mean from. Like, um, you know, Lord's will, I can, uh, I'm going to do my prayer. I'm going to do the prayer also for the, uh, for uh, you know, your, over your food. The uh, one that I that I essentially freestyled on too. Um, ma lakum now, you know, it means from food or from my food or from my bread. Okay. So it's the same concept with this, you know. Ah, I, ga'ar, rebuke, ka, the shatan, Satan, okay? And the, like I said, every time you see a ka at the end of a word, it means the, uh, and it means the or thy. Shit, what? Yeah, Salaki. <laughs> it's Satan, man. <laughs> that's why we, you know, that's why we even have to put up prayers like this, man. Because Satan is after us, okay? And, and, and um, you know, matter of fact, I'm gonna get into this real, uh, this, these precepts real quick, because this is essentially the reason why we need to put up prayers like this. Um, I start with Matthew's chapter. Yep, it's 17 verse 18. Con. This is Matthew's chapter 17 verse 18. It says, "Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him, and and the child was cured." From the very uh, from that very hour, okay, and there's a time to where the heavenly father, uh, uh, the heavenly father's son Yahweh Shai, has basically taken demonic spirits out of um, out of a uh, out of a child, you know. In this in this instance, you know, man, I forgot I forgot how the story goes, but I know that. Oh, father, let's perverse yeah, 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 because uh, the, the the father's son was a lunatic, okay. So the heavenly father, he he said, you know, get, he rebuked Satan, and Satan left. 
okay? And it's the same thing. We we are essentially a part of the body of Yahweh Shai, okay? So we have that same spiritual power that uh, we have an inkling of that same spiritual power that Yahweh Shai possessed, okay? Which was through the Holy Spirit. Now, when we say prayers like this in the in the Ibaria, okay, of course it's always Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai, Bashim Kokadash, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. You know, Shemai Palal now, or Shemai Palalya, which means, uh, you know, uh, please attend to uh, hear my prayers. And then you say, hey, I got Arka Shatan, okay? I got Arka Shatan. You can say it three times. I got Arka Shatan, I got Arka Shatan, I got Arka Shatan. I say it every time I get in the whip, you know, every time I'm about to drive. So, you know, actually, I say all three of these before I drive, I, you know, through the Holy Spirit, you know? So, um. Send. Look what it yeah, said. Mar There's Mar uh, Matthew chapter 17, Mar verse 18. And Yahweh Shai rebuked the devil, and he departed out of him. Okay? And the child was cured that very hour. Uh, that same, it's a lot, from that very hour. Okay? And, and, these, and these prayers, these prayers are quick, man. Okay? So, uh, I'm going to get into the next one. I'm going to go into the next precept after that. Okay? So the next one, that's uh, as, as I said before, it's all one word. I got Arka, I got Arka, Shatan, Shatan, Salaki. I got Arka, Shatan, meaning I rebuke thee, Satan. Okay. The next is A Rashaika, A Rashaika, Shatan. Okay. A, A, I, Rashai, Kadem, Ka, the Shatan. Okay. Yep. Ah, ah, I, Rashai, condemn Ka, the Shatan. Okay? You gotta condemn Satan, you know? Bring damnation unto Satan, man. Basically saying, you know, get the fuck away from me type shit, you know? Excuse my French. And then the last one, you know, the last one, and I'm gonna get into the precepts afterward, is Nadad, my Yanya, or my Yanawa, Shatan. Okay? Nada means flee, Mayan means from, Ya is me, okay? And the word Mayan itself, I, I put a little, uh, you know, here we go, uh, right here, I underline it. This word right here, Mayan, it literally means from, okay? So, Mayan, Nada, flee, Mayanya, from me, or Mayan Nawa, and this right here, means us or our okay so in this instance it's my young uh my young now from us shatan okay and these these are very very simple and hey 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 the water how about shmel shah by shmel kakadash and of course hey they think this is a coin monogon for uh you know for the lord putting the spirit on him for you know making these prayers very short and very uh to the point you know for the Holy Spirit uh, getting on him for him to make these prayers, you know? So like, I get out the way. Come. Now, um, I'm going to get into these other precepts, uh, James 4 and 7. And then, of course, Matthews 4 and 10, which is my personal favorite. And that's when Yahweh uh, was being tempted by Satan himself. Okay? So this is James chapter 4, verse 7. It says... Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Heavenly Father. Well, uh, I'd start at six. It says, but he that giveth more grace, wherefore he saith, the Most High resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto, unto the humble. Okay, it says, submit yourselves to the Heavenly Father, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Okay, and that's essentially what condemn, condemning, the, condemning Satan is, resisting him. Okay, going against him, you know. I honestly forgot the word for uh, damnation, which... Uh, uh, essentially, damnation means to, you know, put away, you know? So it's the same thing, like, hey, get away from me, you know? Because, hey, I'm going to tell you this, for real, man. Satan is not going to come to you in the flesh and be like, yo, you know, I'm tempting you right now. Satan is always up here. He's always in the spirit trying to fuck with your mind. So you got to put him away. You got to condemn Satan. I was shy because you you know? Now, God, my young now was your okay? Flee from us. And that's how Satan, he's like, all right, man, I can't, you know, he got the Holy Spirit on, I'm not going to mess with him, you know? Maybe times to where you have to consistently say this in order for Satan to leave you, man, okay? 
but we're to follow after Yahushua's lead too. So I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 4. I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 4. And I'll start where uh, Yahushua was being tempted. Let me see. I think the point was at 10, but I want to get a little bit. Okay. I start at 5. It says, Then the devil taketh him up unto a holy city and set of him on a, on a pinnacle of the temple. And he saith unto him, If thou be the son of the heavenly father, cast, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear up thee, bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against the stone. Yahusha said unto him, It is written, Thou hast thou shalt not tempt, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. Okay? And it says, And the devil take it from up into an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of men. And he said unto him, All these things will I give thee, and thou wilt fall down and worship me. And watch what Yahusha said. Verse 10. And Yahusha said unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the, the Lord thy power, and him only thou shalt serve. Okay? Shalt, uh, shalt thou serve. Okay? And that's essentially what this last prayer is, man. Get the get you know, get behind me, man. Okay? Because you got to command. First and foremost, the Lord said, when we get in the kingdom of heaven, we're going to have charge over the angels, man. We're going to be telling them, not, not to even sound like that, but we're going to command them on what to do. Okay? So that's why you have to you have to realize you have authority over Satan as a as a being uh as being a power uh, or as being a son of the heavenly father, okay? You have power over Satan and to rule over him, man. So you got to command him on what the hell to do, man. Get get behind me, man. And that's essentially, you could tell that's what Yahusha was like too, man. Yo, Satan, stop playing, man. Okay? And that's the that's the attitude you got to have towards Satan, man. You got to have charge over him. Condemn him. Man, tell him, yo, chill, bro. You know? And it's the same thing with this, man. Now, God, my young hour, or my young, uh, my young year, or, or my young hour, Shatan, okay? Right, Flee from me, man. Okay? Mm -hmm. So with that, I hope the elect was edified through this epistle. You know, you take these prayers and, of course, uh, 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 you know, of course, incorporate this in your daily lifestyle. If it be the Heavenly Father's will, you know? And, and you know, it's very short. It's very sweet, very quick. You know, so that's this is something I put in my arsenal personally, you know, to, to rebuke Satan, to, you know, basically help me during my time of affliction of where I'm being tempted. You know, so with that, I want to give all praise and glory and honor to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bahashim, Rukal Kadash. Okay? Double R. Shalom, 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 Shalom,